You, you know, I, I say that in, in my speech that uh, ECOWAS has uh, adopted some protocol to, to see how we can uh, uh, make uh, the circulation of uh, goods uh, in our region uh, uh, very soft and uh, in a good way that uh, product can go from a country to another country without uh, challenge, without barriers. But we noticed that uh, all the protocols and mainly the one on ETLS, ECOWAS trail liberation teams, is not really implementing as we want because uh, till now we have some challenges on the road, uh, we have some tariff barriers. Even uh, in the protocol, it is clear that uh, agricultural products, livestock, don't have to support any levy, but we still uh, have in some area, uh, some country are trying to put some levy uh, on goods. Uh, besides that, we have also the issue of uh, a non-tariff barrier, or some obstacle, I can say, uh, malpractice. Uh, that means uh, uh, you can say a uh, lot of checkpoint, or also some question of uh, uh, to see. For example, if I want to to take millet from uh, Nigeria to Niger, uh, sometimes you can ask if uh, I can prove that if the millet is coming from Nigeria, you can, you can imagine. We have this kind of uh, challenges on the road. And it, it is not facilitating the circulation of, uh, of goods. It is what I, I raised that ECOWAS uh, set up what we call a, a tax force on ETLS. The tax force is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a lead by one head of state, former head of state, who is uh, in charge to, 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 to discuss with the highest authority in the various countries to see how they can remove or reduce this barrier so that uh, agricultural products and livestock can circulate in our region without uh, uh, any problem. Okay. Thank you very much.